Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph um, our sine graphs now when we're dealing with a uh, determined amplitude, period, x scale, phase shift, as well as vertical transformation. And the last thing I want to add here is k. Now, k is going to be our vertical transformation if we're going to be shifting the graph up or down. And um, if k is positive, that means we're going to be shifting the graph up. If k is negative, that means we're going to be shifting the graph down. And this is what I always thought was you know, so important as far as our amplitude, was noting that the amplitude is not always the distance of how far you go up the graph up or down, but it's the half distance between our maximum and our minimum point. Because now, um, things are going to change as we are going to see. Um, so currently what I have here is two x-axis. And I've kind of left the y-axis here um, off on its own right now, just so we can kind of see. And actually, you know what, since, since I have an idea, I'm actually going to bring this down here a little bit, just so I have a little bit more room. OK. So uh, first things first, though, um, before we get into graphing, it's always most important to identify your amplitude, your period, your phase shift, and your x scale. So first things first, let's determine our amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the absolute value of a. Well, a is what's multiplied by a function, which in this case is 1. So that's absolute value of 1, which in this case is just 1. Our period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, where b is what's multiplied by your x inside your function. Well, in this case, I do not have any. I have 1 again, so it's 2 pi over 1. So it's just going to be 2 pi. My x scale is going to be all it is is my period divided by 4. So in this case, my period is 2 pi divided by 4, which is going to be pi halves. Um, last thing is going to be my phase shift. That is going to be what's set equal into uh, my function. So I'm going to set that equal to 0. So that's always um, whatever's inside my function set equal to 0, so x equals 0. So what that means is that I'm going to be starting my graph, um, starting my first phase shift. My first, uh, what we'll call the initial period, is going to start at 0. Excuse me. And then last one is my vertical transformation. Vertical transformation is going to be k. So I think the graph is going to be shifting up or down. And you can see this one we have vertical transformation is 2. That means we're going to be shifting our graph two units up. OK, so the main important thing is uh, let's go ahead and draw the y-axis and then draw where our first point is going to be at. Where's all my blues? Here's all my blues. So I have my y-axis here. Okay. Now, initially, a lot of people always draw the period. You know, saying, oh, here's going to be up one, here's you know, down one. But also, you know, take a little bit of a note that my graph is being shifted two units up. So instead of starting at 0, it's now being shifted up one, up two. right? So therefore, my period is going to have to go all the way up to 3. We're not even going to have to go down at all. So a lot of times, what I like to do is, when I'm doing a tra vertical transformation, is I take my axis symmetry, and I just kind of do a an imaginary axis symmetry. And this just helps me with where the graph is going to be. Okay. All right. So now, the next thing is we need to identify our period and our x scale. Well, our period is going to be 2 pi. And the x scale is going to be our critical, the distance between our critical points here. So you can see here, you know what I'm saying? That's 2 pi here. I'm still on the x axis. So that's going to be 2 pi. And there's four point, um, well, five critical points, not including the start. But there's going to be four other critical points we need. So our x scale starts at 0, goes to pi halves, then to pi, then to 3 pi over 2. So then if I keep on adding, that'd be 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi over 2, 3 pi, 7 pi over 2, and 4 pi. So now, rather than starting at 0, though, that graph has been shifted up two units, right? because it's been shifted up two. Then I'm going to go up to my maximum, go to my intercept, because technically it would be like up and then intercept. So it's the intercept of my imaginary. Then go down to my minimum point, back up to my intercept, back up to my max, e intercept, minimum, and intercept. Then I just go ahead and graph. And another way, ladies and gentlemen, to do this would be to graph it on the x-axis first and then shift every point up two units. But I think once you kind of get used to this and, and um, get used to doing it, you can just shift the, you can just shift the x-axis, imaginary axis, up two, and then go ahead and graph. So now let's go over to the next one here. Um, this one we have amplitude is going to be up or two. So my amplitude in this case is going to be a positive two. 
So that's just 2. Or amplitude is absolute value. Yeah, let's just do absolute value of 2. Just 2. I already did all that stuff. Uh, my period in this case is going to be 2 pi divided by b. Well, my b in this case is 1 half. So now my period is going to be at 4 pi. Uh, my x scale is going to be my period divided by 4, which in this case is going to be pi. Uh, my x, uh, my phase shift is going to be whatever set equal to 0, or whatever's inside my function, set that equal to 0. So that's going to still be uh, x equals 0. Because you multiply by, or you divide by 1 half on both sides, you still get x equals 0. So we're still going to start at 0. Uh, my vertical transformations, though, is going to be my k. And you can see here, it's going to be negative 1. So what that means is negative 1 down. That means now I'm going to be going down. So um, what I'm going to do, instead of having my x-axis all the way to the left, I'm going to do my x-axis to the right, or right in the middle. Um, now again, usually our period, people would say, oh, up to, down to, right? Well, in this case, though, you've got to be careful, because now we're shifting the graph. Instead of it starting at 0, it's shifting down to 1. So I'm going to have to go down one more to negative 3. So now, instead of the graph starting here, it's now going to start at negative 1. So again, what I did in the last problem, I'm going to draw, draw an imaginary x-axis. Okay? And that's just going to help me with, oh, I know the graph intercepts, you know, crosses the x-intercept here. Well, I know it's going to cross my imaginary intercept. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is create our x scale. Now, I created the y axis in the middle so I could do my x scale to the right as well as my x scale to the left. Unlike this example where I just did my x scale, I did two periods to the right. Now I'm doing a period to the right and two periods to the left. Now, this one's not so bad, though, because you can see my x scale is going to be pi. That means the distance between each of my x scales um, units here is just pi. So that's pretty easy to add up here. So I have pi, 2 pi. 3 pi, and 4 pi. And you can see that 4 pi is going to be what completes one period. Then I do the left. Negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, negative 4 pi. Okay. So now, um, again, my max, so going down to, so that means my max here is now going to be at 1, and my minimum is going to be down to negative 2. Because remember, amplitude is the half distance, right? So. The distance between my max and my min is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the half distance is 2. So from here, I can go up to or I can go down to. So starting here, I'm going to go up to, which would be to 1. Then I'm going to cross on my intercept. Again, remember my new imaginary intercept. Go down to my minimum and then finish at my intercept. Okay. Then I can do that the other direction. Go down to my minimum, cross on my intercept. Go up to my max, and then cross back down to my intercept. Oh, my intercept's right there. OK. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the sine graph when given a vertical transformation, uh, phase shift, x scale, uh, no phase shift, and amplitude. Thanks.